my book which is worth lakhs and in return you are just giving me 5 rupees margaya thinks very soon my son is going to pass through his matriculation and he's going to get into college i don't have to worship this saraswati i can worship lakshmi the way you did and the way you have become rich today if i want to make money i will worship lakshmi Hello hi namaste and welcome to Vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence I am Nand Kishore faculty of english in Vidyashram Mysore in my previous session i had discussed about the novel the financial expert written by rk narayan and prescribed to third semester mysore university bcom and bba students in today's session in session 2 i am going to talk about the chapter 2 from the financial expert so before i move ahead with the chapter let me just give you a recap about session 1 and about chapter 1 in chapter 1 we get to know about margaya and the name margaya means the man who shows the way and he is working as a broker who makes money or who makes profit out of giving loans from using the stocks or the application forms from the central cooperative land mortgage bank and as he is making money the p1 arul das will come and tell him that the secretary of the bank is calling him when margaya rejects the offer when margaya rebels when margaya rejects to go and meet secretary secretary he himself will come and scold margaya saying that he can put him behind the bars he can put margaya behind the bars because what he is doing is not according to the law or simply it is against the law and for this margaya is so humiliated he is embarrassed he goes home while going home he picturizes lot of things he looks at things and he thinks that people are looking at him the way that they would ask margaya to give them a shave or a haircut because he looked like a barber and he goes home and tells his wife that he was humiliated he was embarrassed and he also thinks about remember he was sitting on a bench and he thinks about building a mansion owning a car buying stuff to his wife and giving good education to his son and after he goes home he tells his wife that lot of things had happened today and he was embarrassed where uh, margaya's wife will boosts his morale but one fine day later he happens to meet a priest who will give him an idea of performing a puja to go on to meditate and he applies some condition saying that you have to mix ghee with the lotus petals lotus petals which are burnt to pitch black and you are going to mix this ash with ghee and you are going to put this dot or a tilak as a token of blessings from the goddess lakshmi but there are other conditions which is put by the priest where he says that the ghee which is made out of cow's milk and the cow should be of gray color or ash color and the milk which is drawn from this color rusty color cow should be made to ghee and only then he can do it and later on as the novel progresses in chapter 1 he happens to find the flower lotus and there he meets dr pal who claims himself to be the sociologist where uh, he helps margaya by plucking up lotus and uh, they both get acquainted a bit though they don't exchange their names uh, dr pal thinks that margaya was a ayurvedic doctor he was an ayurvedic doctor since he asked about cow and uh, lotus later on dr pal takes margaya to his house and uh, both of them will have a conversation about uh, how to make love especially dr pal he tells that he has written four books and one of the manuscripts titled as bed life bed life right in simple how to be good in bed the manuscript is given to margaya and margaya reads it he goes through the pages and he was dumbstruck he was in awe and he says that do you think that people are going to read this and dr pal says yes of course i am planning to get it printed and 
I am going to make good money. And that's where it ends and Margaya starts meditating now. After few days, what happens? That is what is revealed in chapter 2. Now, in chapter 2, it is revealed that Margaya's new appearance, he is shaved, he has a good haircut, he looks good and people start questioning him. There are a lot of people uh, who will meet Margaya and people ask him, yes, where were you these days? Because he was a sort of, uh, you know, locked him, himself in the room to perform puja and he would never let his son, own son inside his room. So after a few days of appearance, people are asking him, where were you? And Margaret says, I'm right here. Where will I go? But that is not the only thing what upsets Margaya now because people were not able to meet him and he was not able to me, uh, make money meeting people. Now Margaya's expenditure is coming down before he could sit to worship Goddess Lakshmi to take, you know, to ask her to beg a lot of money in return. He just had 200 rupees and out of the 200 rupees now he has lost 100 rupees for the expenditure. Remember he had not earned any money since he was just doing or performing puja and 100 rupees it has come down to 100 rupees from 200 rupees now. Yes and Margaya is very upset because like he had to manage with uh, the milkman, the groceries, all those stuffs for the house and the ingredients and uh, the stuffs he had to buy to perform puja has taken away 100 rupees. Apart from that, he had to feed four Brahmins because that is the custom in Brahminical family. If they want to get good deeds from what they have done, they have to feed four Brahmins and, and he had to give one rupees on beetle leaves which is like where it is a custom where they keep beetle leaves and arachnids and on that yes nuts on that nuts he will keep one rupee coin and they give it to four brahmins and that put together has consumed 100 rupees now he is rebuking he is calling himself and he thinks where is this priest who has led me to this condition because he's so angry and he's expecting some miracle to happen very soon but we don't know whether miracle will happen or not but for now, Margaya is dejected, he is coming down, his energy level is going down drastically and he is wondering that how he is going to make money because he has already lost 100 rupees and he is just left with 100 rupees more. So what is he going to do with that? He is not able to find any way. But eventually he thinks, am I not worth spending at least 100 rupees on, on getting more amount because it is a matter of money which is spent on goddess. So he is just convincing himself that he shouldn't be thinking bad that he has spent money on unnecessary things. But later what happens now people are not able to meet Margaya because people know that they have to pay huge interest or maybe some interest. So people are not interested in meeting. So people start questioning about Margaya's presence at home now because Margaya is not going out. People who come especially the women who come inside Margaya's house to meet Meenakshi, they had to cross, they had to enter the main door, they had to cross through this hall where Margaya is lying. And every time when women came inside his house, he had to get up. And it is quite irritating for the first time, yes. And at the second point, people who cross Margaya, who see Margaya lying inside the house, would go back to the veranda to meet Meenakshi. It could be... Uh, a uh, servant who worked in Meenakshi's house, it could be a uh, vendor who went and asked Meenakshi that what is wrong with your husband Margaya? Isn't he working outside? Why is he lying inside the house? And above that, even Margaya's brother, elder brother, his family, elder, his elder brother's family is quite shocked because they are wondering what would Margaya do without earning money? How is he leading his life? And uh, the concept of black magic passes their head, thinking that, like, you know, are they performing any magic here inside the house? But which is not. But later, Margaya goes out and old customers start avoiding Margaya. Because they know if they catch hold of Margaya or if Margaya sees them, like if he happens to meet them, for sure they have to pay money to Margaya. It is the interest which they don't want to pay. So they try avoiding. Above all, even 
Margaya is not able to go to his friend's store, VN store, remember, where he had bought spectacles because he is not going that way because he knows that he has no money left. Not much of money left though he has a bit of money with, with him in his pocket. And he thinks that it is not a good idea to uh, visit towards his friend's shop. Once it happens so that uh, Margaya's family, he runs out of ghee and uh, they have a habit of eating their meal using ghee. So Margaya is not in a condition to buy ghee and his wife, Margaya's wife Meenakshi, she feels very bad. And Balu, he starts crying that, you know, once the food is given, he kicks the plate and spills the rice all over and he says that he is not going to consume or have food without ghee. But Margaya tries to convince Balu saying that, see like you can eat your food without having ghee, it's good actually, it tastes good. He tries to convince Balu but Balu will tell that if you are not going to buy ghee for me then definitely I am not going to eat food and moreover I am going to cry aloud, kicking my legs just like a baby. That is what shows about his baby attitude now. And after that, uh, Meenakshi feels very sad and then she starts crying. She sheds her tears and she tells the story of Gora Kumbar. It is a story of Gora Kumbar where Kumbar, the story, where he just stamps the mud and makes it fine so that he can make the finest pots. So in this story, in this story of Gora Kumar, Gora Kumar's wife, she leaves the boy in the care of husband who is stamping the mud so that she can go to the neighbor and get some ghee to have food. The baby happens to crawl towards the father and just falls at the bottom of Gora Kumar's feet. But Gora Kumbar, he never looks at his son, the baby who is under the feet because he is completely immersed himself, he is completely lost, thinking about God Vishnu. He will be like dancing, he will be performing and he will be stamping while performing his action. The baby happens to fall under his feet and he stamps the baby inside the mud where baby dies. This story, now it is with reference to Margaya. Though Margaya is not putting his son Balu under his feet and crush him, it is a sort where indirectly Meenakshi brings in this reference of the story to make him realize that even he is no better than Gora Kumbar. Now this puts down the morale of Margaya and he just gulps the food though he doesn't want to eat it. So that is a sort of humiliation where Margaya faces even in his family. Late that night, Margaya goes to temple. Then what happens? He couldn't take these words. He couldn't take this trouble. He is so dejected in his life. He knows that he has lost even the money, what he had, what he had saved. And moreover, even he is not able to make money. Forget about losing money or not making money. It is just that the money which he had to get back is also not coming back. So altogether put in this situation, now Margaya is completely going down. He is dejected, his confidence level is coming down, his anger is going up. He goes in search of the priest who had suggested him to perform puja. Now after reaching the temple, he realizes that the old priest is no more there. It is the new young man, the priest, who just talks to Margaya and Margaya is so frustrated because he is not answering, the priest is not answering Margaya's question, looking at his face. He is completely involved in performing puja. He is like, you know, putting these flowers on this idol, the performing of puja and he is not looking towards Margaya. Now Margaya is very much triggered, is frustrated. And as the conversation develops, this priest comes out and tells that the old priest is no longer here and is not here since a month. And upon being asked, Margaya asks, where is he? Right? Upon being asked, the priest tells that he has gone to 
pilgrimage and he would I don't know priest says that I don't know when he would come back Margaya questions when will he be back and the priest the young priest doesn't know now there is a new priest and young priest doesn't know when this old priest would come and Margaya after coming out of temple he is just wondering why did the old priest cheat him? Why did he lead me towards such a horrible situation? Now, Margaya is not sure whether the priest would come back and meet him because he has gone to the pilgrimage on foot, remember, and on the way he might die of sunstroke or he might die of uh, severe cold, he might freeze up himself or he might never return, who knows, he might not come back at all. All these thoughts were completely filled and next day he expects some miracle to happen. He's expecting some miracle to happen and Margaya is not sure whether miracle would happen or not. So what he does is he gets up and sits on parapet. Parapet is just like where we call a juggly, right? Uh, in front of a house, usually in front of a houses, especially in the village side, they will have an embankment in front of the walls, the houses, two sides or one side, that is called parapet and he thinks about snuff now because he has only few rupees left in his pocket and he wants to live his life, he wants to earn his livelihood and he starts thinking about the stuff there, snuff in the sense like where we uh, take this black snuff and he nail it which helps to sneeze, a sort of like where it is made out of tobacco and he also talks about introducing or, or coming up with tooth powder, just like toothpaste. While he was lost in this thought, Dr. Pal again happens to reappear in chapter 2 and he meets Margaya and calls him to gossip. Now Dr. Pal could read the mind of Margaya and he says that I know, you know like he says to Margaya, I know you are lost in your own world about making money because when men are lost in their thoughts, it's only about money. And Dr. Paul, he takes him to his office. Where? To his office. Whom does he take? Margaya. Dr. Paul requests Margaya and he takes him uh, to his office where it happens to be like completely filthy. Yes, all the papers are down here and there, helter skelter. And uh, Dr. Paul has got something to discuss now. He's very keen in sharing these things to Margaya and both of them start talking in a very low tone. So, Paul asks about making money. As the conversation builds, both of them are thinking about making money. And Paul now, he gives this book, manuscript. Manuscript is like where, where the author has written a piece of book, piece of work, but yet it is not published. The original handwriting manuscript. Oh, so this could be asked for even one word substitute, remember that. And later on, Dr. Paul, he talks about money and sex and wife. He brings in the reference of Meenakshi while talking to Margaya that how could he think about his son if you cannot think about your wife first? Because he's talking about bed life, the concept of bed life, remember this writings. So. Talking about this, he says that we can make good money for sure. This book will be published and after this book is published for a rupee or two, it's going to make lakhs of rupees, which is a huge amount. While mentioning this, Dr. Paul says that, you know, I'm just thinking to giving, you know, giving it to you. I'm just thinking to give it to you so that you can make money because there are a lot of people who came to me to get the uh, license of getting this book published but I'm not interested in making money whereas I'm thinking to give it to you because you are my good friend now. So he is trying to manipulate, trying to play trick with Margaya's mind. So Margaya is questioning then, it is the case then you could have made 1 lakh rupees instead of you telling me 1 lakh rupees that I can make, right? And then after the conversation, Dr. Paul says that he is having an idea, that he has an idea to set up sociology clinic. And he says that I can make good money because I am sure that the marriage is going to be successful only 
on their idealistic life and on the basis of the lessons or the concepts that I'm going to educate them if they visit my clinic or else they, they might have the failed marriage and plans about selling his bed life which would make lakhs of rupees as I told you but Margaya is in dilemma now because he has no money he is less, le left with just 25 rupees that's all and he is not in the condition to take it because he is not sure whether the book would be published or not he is in complete dilemma both negotiate about printing copyrights and he says that you know when Margaya questions Dr. Paul that why can't you make money yourself instead of giving it to me right he says that I somehow can make money let us assume you are giving your original script so don't you think that you are going to lose 1 lakh rupees but somehow Dr. Paul manipulates his mind and he just brings down this manuscript and puts it on his lap and says here it is right and he says Paul's firm words he says that I'm just going to give you five minutes think about it I'm just expecting how much of a money you have in your pocket I can see your pocket your purse show it to me and, and Margaret takes out his pocket and he says that you know I just have 25 rupees I'm just going to give you five rupees and uh, Dr. Paul says what no way I'm just giving you my book which is worth lakhs and in return you are just giving me five rupees no he just still keeps his extended arms with signs that Dr. Paul is expecting more money from Margaya wherein Margaya is not ready to give money and Dr. Paul uses his firm words says that if you're not going to give that money then it is of no use negotiating it's of it, it is not a good business he keeps his arms extended and he just tells Margaya keeping his arm that I'm going to give you five minutes think about it either you don't buy this book don't take this book which is going to fetch you lakhs of rupees or you give me 25 rupees how much ever you have in your pocket it could be five rupees or it could be nothing but give me your purse how much ever you have so Margaya is in fixation now he is like confused totally confused now at that point of time it is in you know on, on the track there you know at the end point the given minutes five minutes is ending it is com coming to an end when it is just half a minute more just few seconds left Margaya hears the bicycle bell sound of bicycle bell and he considers he takes it as the sign from the goddess or the god as yes he says yes the goddess has given me a consent she has sent me a sign that I should buy it so Margaya finally gets all of this book he gives the purse to Dr. Pal and he comes home so once he comes home he carries this manuscript on the way he believes that he is not going to show this manuscript which is obscene for his young son Balu if he happens to take control or he if he happens to read this book then it's going to be trouble for his son so he just hides himself hides his books you know within this dress he asks Dr. Paul to wrap this book so that it could be covered and carried home after he carries this manuscript to home seen at home is such that Margaya's wife opens the door she looks at Margaya carrying something he just moves inside without speaking and he hides it in his closet he hides it and Meenakshi now is very curious she wants to know what Margaya carried after they had their dinner now Balu asks his father to narrate the story right so every time he narrated the same story fox crow and lion and uh, now Balu is not so interested so he changes the story and even then Balu is not so keen about listening to the story where he goes to bed so when he falls asleep Margaya's wife comes and asks that what was that he carried Margaya takes Meenakshi separately and he, he gave he gives he gives this book to Meenakshi where Meenakshi opens and reads and she, actually initially she thought that it was a sari 
as a gift from Margaya, but it is not. It happens to be the book and Meenakshi is dejected and she's in anger. She is like completely shocked to look at this book and she starts rebuking. She starts scolding Margaya saying that oh, who is that person? You men don't have any other job except doing this, right? Who is going to read this? But later Margaya takes this book and he starts reading to his wife where uh, his wife will just sit in anger and look at Margaya. So this is the scene after few days later Margaya goes to Gordon Printery, the printing press and the owner is Madan Lal. He is from Gujarat. Yes, a Marwari sort of a businessman. Once he goes there, now Margaya and Madan Lal, they happen to become friends later on. Now what happens, once he goes there, Margaya, he gives the book, Madan Lal takes it and, and keeps it on his table, asking Margaya to come back maybe later. But Margaya says that he is not ready to leave the book because he knows that that is the only position he has. But Madan Lal is so occupied, he has no time to read it. And Margaya insists, he compels, he forces Madan Lal to read and he accepts. Once he starts reading, Madan Lal reads it and admires. Now he's saying, ah, really? So this is the book? He admires the chapters. He turns pages after pages. And in between, there are a lot of Madan Lal's uh, employees who will come and interrupt Madan Lal and he chases away his employers saying that okay they have very you know uneasy curious to know what people are doing. So Lal decides to consult lawyer later because he knows that this book is going to fetch good money. So business mind would always think about money and Madan Lal says well I am ready. Well, I think yes, a sort of yes, but I need to consult my lawyer. So Madanla says that Margaya would come back the next day because he has to go and meet his lawyer. And even for this term or this words, Margaya resists. No, he rejects, says that he is not going to leave the original copy in the hands of Madanla. Somehow they manage to meet the lawyer and they come to an agreement that they are going to publish it. But Madan Lal has two conditions. This is very important. Okay, this could be asked for five marks. Madan Lal has two conditions now. The two, two condition is such that they are going to share the profit 50-50. 50%. So 50% belongs to Madan Lal and 50% belongs to Margaya. The second condition is if they happen to, I mean to say, if Madan Lal happens to face any litigation, any legal problem, yes, about uh, publishing this book especially, right, he says that he, you are going to take care of it. You are going to be the one who is going to hold in charge because you are the only sole bearer of the problem. If police comes and puts me behind the bar, then it is not me who is going to go to the police station, it is you. If you are going to agree for these two conditions, because remember, the, the book is all about bed life, so there are bit complications. The complications is that, such that there are chances that Madan Lal could be put behind the bars, but he is not ready to accept that. But he is only wants, he is wanting now only 50%. Somehow, Margaya is in dilemma now, he is frustrated. What? You are going to take my profit but not my problem? Later they are convinced and uh, they decide to call it domestic harmony. So before they name it, there are few words where they discuss about how the outbook should look. Yes, the cover, the cover page should look and what are the fonts? Should it be Roman 9 or 10 or 11 or 12? And what is the font they should be publishing it in, right? And then uh, they're going to use it different methods to look to make it look a bit different than the other books. Now, in the next scene, what happens in this scene? A Balu, right? He is admitted to elementary school. So this is taking place after few days or few months, few time. 
and now margaya has made good money the rich margaya the rich now now balu as margaya dreamt of giving him a good education he is admitted to elementary school where margaya is the secretary is margaya is one of the board members there and margaya and his brother make up now these many days or these many years margaya and his elder brother were fighting against each other but the money see after margaya made money he has decided that is going to be in good terms with his brother and he goes on to invite his brother that there is a procession remember the way balu went to school was on a car yes and there was a procession and there were friends around it there are a lot of things happening it is a big thing that is happening in balu's life and in margaya's life as well so he invites margaya's brother and his sister in law but margaya's wife is not so happy to invite his sister in law because margaya's wife and her sister in law these two women are not talking now because it is not the mistake of meenakshi meenakshi goes and calls her sister in law but she doesn't respond so she, meenakshi is bit angry now she comes out of the house and uh, she starts she is angry on margaya because margaya thinks that meenakshi might have not called or invited his brother in law in a proper way and later what happens margaya is the school secretary now who is one of the board members and after few days after getting balu into elementary school balu is being caned beaten up is always punished his ears were twisted pinched as a symbol of punishment and uh, his progress card marked zero such a horrible spoiled brat because of love that is showered from margaya and his wife next what happens margaya decides to take charge against the school because they are not teaching one of the board members son properly but somehow now margaya is not so you know like uh, arrogant or maybe we would say like uh, complete res sole responsibility of the school so somehow he manages to appoint the private tutor yes the home tutor and that is mr murthy but before appointing murthy margaya asks balu which is the teacher who is the teacher who he likes the most and he says nathaniel the teacher who happens to be the christian who never scolded any of the uh, students right pupil so margaya thinks that you know he cannot take chance of appointing a shepherd to control the tiger cub so he considered his son as a tiger and shepherd where he is compared to nathaniel and and then he thinks that who is that who is strong good will and and who takes control of uh, or who beats uh, students then balu himself says it is murthy who teaches arithmetic yes and english he says arithmetic and english is taught by murthy and he is the one who takes good control of the students and uh, murthy is appointed now because murthy happens to be good in teaching and also murthy remember was drawing just 25 rupees and murthy open heartedly whole heartedly happily accepts this offer since he got 10 rupees more as an added advantage added fee to teach balu as a private tutor now murthy has a trick to control balu what does he do he knows that balu is secretary son and he will be in soup if he is not up to the mark so he just goes down to the level of balu he plays some trick on his mind saying that i am going to be your friend more than a teacher so this trick will later put murthy in trouble because balu takes advantage of this and after few days or after few uh, weeks or thing now balu is definitely going to get admitted to albert mission college because that is the idea of margaya because margaya thinks very soon my son is going to pass through his matriculation and he is going to get into 
college where albert mission college now margaya one day what happens he thinks that his son is scoring well somehow through the help of murthy he, he wants to inspect his son's room so what he does he climbs up he goes there because he is now rich now he is rich remember margaya is rich now he has made money out of the books published and uh, he wants to inspect his son's room where he just goes before he goes to his room he imagines that his son is keeping his books properly his uh, dress to be neat and tidy but once he looks at his room it is completely scattered clumsy yes things are thrown here and there and he starts scolding his son that he needs to worship goddess saraswati who gives knowledge right if you want knowledge you need to worship saraswati if you want money you need to worship lakshmi and he says that after he scolds balu goes and just leans you know lies on a prostrate mode to just ask the grace of goddess saraswati and within a minute he comes back and margaya starts scolding when margaya scolds that he needs to be thinking about saraswati yes because he needs blessings from her so that he can score more marks he will be well educated and people would not treat him in a good manner if he is not educated in man but in in between uh, balu brings in the reference that you know i don't have to worship this saraswati i can worship lakshmi the way you did and the way you have become rich today if i want to make money i will worship lakshmi and now margaya is triggered now he is angry he asks who told you this who told you about lakshmi and saraswati there is a difference right and balu puts murti in trouble saying that it is murti who knows and margaya asks ask murti margaya says ask murti to meet me after he is done with tuitions so balu is taking advantage of his teacher and he goes to his teacher murti and he tells that his father wants to meet mr murti and murti is a bit scared now because he knows that you no know, that is a problem and the eyes expression of balu says that murti is going to be definitely screwed he will be blasted now somehow murti convinces he uh, agrees to do his homework and and, and uh, give him the concession and he also agrees to buy him uh, right some sweets so murti once he is done with the tuition he waits that day and he hears margaya coming his way the towards the house and uh, murti stands up and he greets margaya and margaya says that i am very much exhausted today he goes on to tell that margaya is such a character who always dreamt about making money and it has been fulfilled now right from 100 rupees he has made 20000 rupees which is a good amount huge amount back then in course of time and thinks about luxury now margaya is thinking about luxury remember in the beginning of the novel you always wanted to make money you always wanted to have things around he always wanted to buy stuff he wanted to own a car mansion and give his son a good education now he has everything but still is not so happy because he says money is not everything now but in the first chapter he told money is everything but now he has reached the saturation level and he tells that money is not everything looking at the call bell all this invention the lights all this stuff it is not so pleased no it is not pleasing him and he told it to himself and later on in the novel he decides to part his agreement uh, which had been signed with madan lal he says that i am going to end my agreement deed agreement partnership with you he meets madan lal in his office and arranges for lunch yes while having lunch madan lal resists so much because already margaya has put out what he had in his mind that he is going to end the, this partnership deed the policy which he had signed and he says madan lal is not in the, in 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 condition to give up but before he thinks that he is going to wind up or break up the partnership margaya initially asks all this 100% income or uh, the profit 
to himself. But Madan Lal says, no, that is not going to happen. And then he comes in terms of the agreement. So somehow, Margaya convinces Madan Lal, either you are going to give me everything or you are going to take everything. I don't want any of this. In return, I don't want your share anymore. In return, you are going to give me a lump sum amount. Yes, and he gets it in the form of check. Margaya gets, he is not expecting 50-50 share anymore. Neither he wants 100% share profit. He just wants, if he's, if Madan Lal is not ready to give up this profit, then he has to take the profit to himself. But let him give me lump sum money, amount. And Madan Lal accepts and both of them will part. And they, Madan Lal greets, always greets and tells, you know, we too, though they, we are not going to remain partners anymore, you are going to be my friend. Because once you are a friend of mine, you are always a friend. And Margaya is very happy to get this and he moves out of his office. So that is about today's session. I am going to meet you in my next session, chapter 3 in chapter session. Until then, keep reading. Have a good day.